Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode, we're gonna be looking at this product here. This is the AOSK Center Console Storage Box for your Mustang Mach-E. So let's take a look and see how this product is. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, well, welcome back. So here we have the AOSK uh, center console storage compartment box organizer uh, for your Mustang Mach-E, which is pretty cool. So AOSK reached out to me to review this product on my channel for, for them and uh, put this in my Mach-E and see how I like it. And uh, the one thing I will say about the Mach-E is that the center console is really just a black hole. It just goes, it's pretty deep. It just goes straight down to the bottom. There's no organization, no nothing in there. Um, so it really is limited as far as, um, you know, what you can do with it from factory. The cool thing about this is this doesn't just sit in the bottom of the console and then gives you these little compartments in here. This actually sits uh, a little bit above by about an inch and a half or so. And so this kind of sits above the bottom of the console. So it actually brings everything up a little bit, but on top of that, you can still store things underneath of this. So I think that's a pretty cool idea. Now there's two different versions of this if you're looking at it. Now I'll leave in the description below a link where you can get this, uh, but there are two different versions. Now this one here you can see has the, uh, the coin slots here. Uh, so if you're a type of person who has a lot of loose change in your car because you pay a lot with cash, then this might be a good one for you. They also have one where they get rid of the coin slots and they have a card holder, like a business card holder, which would be really good for either business cards or probably even something like your your charging cards for your charging networks if you carry those around in your vehicle like I do. It's pretty cool, there's a couple different versions. And the nice thing about this is that this is all plastic, but they give you these rubber inserts. And then what you do is you just put the rubber inserts inside of this uh, console to have some rubber bottom to it. And I have already the interior liners uh, from AOSK in my Mach-E. Uh, if you're interested in those interior liners, you can just take a look at that link right up here. And I already have those, but on top of that, I don't have to take out those interior liners because this sits above the interior liner by a little bit. So this will actually sit down in the console and it'll give us more storage because we'll be able to put stuff right here. And it also has this hole in it, as you can see, and that's actually just an access hole for the uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, if you will. Um, so you still have access to that. So you're not blocking that. And this sits above where it has the little key slot in the event that your key fob battery dies, uh, that little slot that sits right at the front of the console. So you would just have to lift this out to get access to that. But other than that, um, this is pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead and get this inserted into the console and we'll get the uh, inserts put into here as well. And we'll just see how this looks and how it functions and we'll see how well we can clean up our console. All right, so like I was saying before, I do have a bunch of stuff in here that I just kind of throw. It sits into the black hole, the abyss of the Mach-E um, center console here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this stuff out and then we're going to get the Mach-E center console organizer thrown in there. As you can see, there's one of my AOSK interior liners. Um, so let's go ahead and get this put in here. So this just slides in like this. And like I was saying, it sits higher. So it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It actually sits up a little bit. And as you can see, you have your coin slots here. You have a, a large compartment here, a couple smaller ones. Uh, and of course you still have access to the 12 volt plug. That's right there. So that works really nicely. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it fits in there pretty well. It could be maybe a little rattly. It probably could use a little bit of uh, extra pieces. So this actually does have, I didn't point it out before, but it actually does have these little foam pieces here on the front and right there on the back to try to isolate any uh, vibrations. But um, yeah, sits in there pretty well. So let's go ahead and throw those rubber inserts in that we get in the box and then we'll uh, see how those look. All right, so it looks like they make these out of the exact same material 
that they make the interior liners out of. So we just got to put those in their respective locations here. Oop. Do a better job there. There we go. And the big one. There we are. So now we have a nice rubber bottom. So this way there's less, you know, vibrations and noise that can happen if you put anything plastic in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our, our stuff and just kind of throw it in here. And now we have some extra space to keep everything. Throw that one there. There we go. That looks good. I'll fold that up later and make that look nice. But, you know, this can get thrown, you know, maybe into one of these little compartments here. And just throw that there. Got a charging cable here. I can fold that up, make that look kind of nice. And there we go. So now we've organized a little bit. Oh, look at this. So I have one of these 12 volt adapters, uh, 12 volt to USB. And uh, something like this. This act oh look at that it actually fell in here. Uh, something like this can actually fit in the coin, the coin uh, slot pretty easily. So yeah, you kind of make it just work for you as as you need it. And uh, you know, as you can see, it makes things look a little bit nicer. And of course, the best part is I can just take this out, and you still got room down there. So you still got extra storage space now because of having this little tray in here. So that's really, really nice. So you can hide some personal things underneath there if you want, or you can, um, you know, just use it for any other extra storage. Really nice. All right, well, as you can see, the AOSK center console organizer, whatever you want to call this, actually works pretty well. So not only does it give you some extra storage space in your console, as opposed to having this really deep uh, black hole of a console. This gives you an extra tier of storage that you can use and organize as well. And of course, you still have the lower spot of the center console that you can put your not so used very often uh, goodies, if you will. And uh, this gives you a little bit more storage in your Mustang Mach-E. So I, I really like this product. I think AOSK has really great ideas when it comes to, you know, functionality, storage for these vehicles. But I really like what AOSK is doing with these extra little add-ons that you could put in your vehicle. A little extra storage here and there kind of allows you to organize your car exactly how you want it. And, um, you know, I think that's a great idea. So I think AOSK is on the right path with these products. And I think this looks really good. It, functionality is really, really good as well. And it just makes sense. And I think that's really, really cool. But anyway, I hope you liked this product. And if you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up below. Of course, if you're interested in purchasing it, check down in the description. We'll go ahead and have a link right there where you can purchase this product. Well, anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today's episode. I'd like to thank AOSK for sending me out the console organizer for the Mustang Mach-E. And of course, you can check us out on our website, techmotoring.com, facebook.com slash techmotoring, on Twitter, at techmotoring. I'd like to thank you very much again for watching. And remember, welcome to the future and welcome to tech motoring. And we'll see you on the next episode.